Welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers, to Wizardry 8, and we are on the graveyard. What we need to do is clear it out, and there's a bunch of really, really high-level opponents in there. Yeah, 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 Miles got that right. And we need to keep our distance, because it's two groups of um, very high-level sieges that can cast something like fear. Yeah, fear or terror isn't that much of a danger, but it is a danger if it gets to level 6 or something like that, which will make half our part pass out. So the Siege Shades, we'll have to wait a little bit. We'll have to um, just rest for a while and see if we get a better so-called roll of enemies. You bellowed. Maybe if we wait a bit, because that's direly needed. Or if we can at least maybe isolate them. So that's our goal here now, to get further to the fabled graveyard dungeon. The buffs are ready. Let's go back in and maybe we can get one group that would be definitely doable. Two groups could be doable, but the very high level um, sieges that we currently had are way too dangerous. They can go for... Um, they can throw magic rocks and this <laughs> would do area damage and this would uh, definitely eliminate... eliminate us maybe. Now, it seems like we only have, only have, the very, very dangerous mummy here. That's very strong. 182 points. Immune to disease and um, itself spreading disease. So, there's something else, as you can see here. Hey, something got loose over here. The enemy will die slowly. Yeah. Will be done. So we have to run now, because, um, as you can see, yeah, it looked like we were isolated, or we had isolated the mummy, but in reality, and that's what you see here, we're getting targeted by them by extremely high spells. As you see, we are, yeah, our bard is level 8, but bard is always highest, so... This is just um, a case of where you need one spell that would make everything a lot easier. It's called Magic Screen. And if you have a few levels in Magic Screen, which gives you great resistances, then you could do well. But as we don't have that, we will not do well in this encounter. So what we need to do is... Um, most probably run away like hell. As you can see, we barely survived uh, in full. Their first attack even. Now that's another one of these examples where you, in uh, Wizardry 8, can have encounters that you cannot win. You just cannot win them. You have to avoid these. In this case, we have to we have to make a run for the exit. It's literally like that. Run! Right there. And we need to run again and hope that no one can really come close enough to cast another one of these death waves at us. And it's really random how long these encounters stay. They can stay for like a resting period. They can stay for a couple of days. They can go away completely. Like the mummy is a, is a static thing. The mummy is always there until you defeat it. And then it will not be there anymore. So the mummy is not a problem. But these, the random encounters with the Trini Shades. And now you can see something interesting. If we're lucky, 
And then the sieges have split up from the shades here. It could be they are in again, or it could be they have retreated. And if we get behind this door, we can try out to just fight a couple of the Trini shades. And we'll do that. Oh, there's the question, who heals whom, right? Uh, we should try to heal the bishop. And... The bishop himself should try to refill some stamina. On, uh, I, I think, important persons for stamina, like... A like good and, and a little bit weak rogue. Heal wounds with Y on him. Our bard should cast okay. Angel's Tongue. So we have buffs ready. Here we go. They're coming and... I know they have the buff of haste, so they are pretty quick. They have more attacks. But we can probably do it. On, against only the Shades, it is, it is doable if we're lucky. So we'll try. We'll try. How do you go for something like that? I mean, you have to know that these are... These will usually um, be able to hit into the back row, so... That might be a big problem. So for now... If we want to do something, we have to account for the front line should not heal the back line, otherwise they can backstab. So back line must heal itself. So we have the gadget here who can heal, but cannot really heal. The bishop who can heal and the ranger who can heal. I'll give the ranger a chance to heal the bishop. We'll give the bishop maybe some kind of chance right there. give stamina to the gadget here we'll give the bard a chance okay. to go for some piercing pipes and then we'll wait a bit and let them come and hope for for the best and they're coming close you can see here that the range is short Maximum attack range is also short, so we're lucky in that case. They cannot hit the backline, even though they have spares. Usually, if, if they feature spares, they also have reach into the backline, but not this time. So We have a chance there. We always have to look that we're facing them. So as they're coming closer, we can use turn undead, which will be extremely helpful. Now let's see about the rest of the guys. Yeah, we should do good here. We have the buffs, we have everything. Let's go. Ah! Bard is afraid, which is not good for her. As they are so high level, we don't really hit them well. So only really raw damage is, is usually then something that we can do there. So we could go Holy Water, but it's m way more effective for us to... Um, and just care for our people here that are um, in danger of being hit. So here we go. Ah! Got some wounds here. Damn it. Another one down. I told you it would be a hard fight.
So what do we have to do now? We have to give the bard some stamina back. Right then. Or else she'll be in danger. And then... Okay. Yeah, let them come. That was great. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful. They've also gotten rid of the haste spell, which didn't only give them attacks, but also some armor class. So we're hitting them better now, which is super good for us. As no one is really wounded, we'll go and distribute some stamina where we see fit. Our bard or our ninja be the right person to get this. They're coming in and another one is also coming. Here we go. Our late bloom is not doing much yet. But starting to hit something and our fighter, of course, very good. A kidna. Oh, we probably need some stamina for ourselves now. No one is really that wounded, so we don't have to take care of that. We have to look at the bliss. Yeah, next round we'll have to support the bard and the bard can cast all. Um, ACDC can, uh, can play the melody again and with the angel's tongue and then we'll be way better. Ah, another one down. Damn it. You can see that only people who have high skills and good weapons really hit them reliably. So you need both. With weaker opponents, we've seen that the Bard can do good, some good damage. But with this right then. amount, yeah, we can wait another round. It should be okay. It should be okay. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. And we'll support the Bard already. Here we go. Nice! 40 damage. Exceptional. ACDC is showing her worth. Bless expired. Okay. Ah, what? Why piercing pipes? We just we made angels okay. die. Okay, we also made piercing pipes work. Yeah, to be honest. Uh, right then. Let's heal a bit. It shall be good. Coming in. Good stuff against the Trini Shade. If bless seven. No difference in strength, but we'll We'll be there for a long time for us, which is really, really helpful. Now, let's see, can we heal somewhere? Mm, we don't need to heal, but we need to distribute some more stamina. We could go holy water, but that would be, wouldn't be as good as giving people stamina. It would be a good choice, because it affects the undead. Uh, it's not nearly as good as giving our heavy hitters good stamina regularly. So support is something really important. If you have some heavy hitters, give them support. I see that we make this encounter work now. Yeah, maybe some healing wounds. Right then. Yeah. 
As you can see, in theory, the even a not very well advanced bishop can do wonders with two first level spells. Stamina and heal. So we should give some more stamina out to our good ranger. Right then. And then hope for the best. Nice hit from ACDC. Sending him potentially on the highway to hell, hopefully. Come on. A very good fight for us. We escaped a bit there. We need to get back into the edge, heal up. Um, first cast and then sleep. So see, we have had a lot of skill ups that are very, very useful, especially like the, the main weaponry we so employ. You have summoned me? Always using um, the side healers to heal up. This is most unfortunate. So they get some practice and also, of course, saving the money for the real people. Yes. Like the bishop that are great at healing. That will also make your resting times a little bit lower if you do it like that. Because the bishop has a lot of spell points. Mana points. And uh, the others, on the other hand, don't. So if you completely empty your bishop, you have to rest for a very long while. So he's um, full of magic power again. But if you don't do that, it's way quicker. We'll go back. We, we don't give up that easily, right? Let's see. So it's night. Some different creatures might spawn at night. Let's see about that. Oh, okay, okay. Look at that. Um, missile shield. And let's see what we can get going. motivated to show even the two sieges are left that should be doable we'll, we'll see if they hang on somewhere together with the mummy they will be too strong but alone they should be manageable maybe we can do another little wonder uh, the mummy is here somewhere there's the mummy to find out if there's others. So we cannot be surprised. We should be able to get the mummy alone. Hello there, beast from the depths of the grave. Yes, yes, I can see you coming. Here it's coming. You can see, thanks to our ranger, we see her maximum attack range short. So Let's get them, guys. she will not attack people in the back line, which is great to know. Let's see what we can do against her. We can start with an energy blast, which is not bad. Uh, we want an angel's tongue here. Now uh, we can also start with that. We'll, we'll try to turn Undead on the mummy. It might be good. It might be really good. Okay. Let's also start with the Lightning Rod. And then, uh, yeah, she should come closer. It will be done. Or it, rather. Oh. It's 
weird claws. That was pretty, pretty strong. And we couldn't like paralyze her, but I think, because I think, as you can see here, she's immune to a lot of things. Ah. Mm, we can put holy water on her or an energy blast. We'll try the energy blast. Energy blast is generally a little bit safer. Ah, oh, look at that. Bart doing the hard work. And blind. Now very easy to hit. Boom. And we'll get something very important here. Mummy dust. You only get mummy dust from this mummy. And there's late. Very, very late. There's, there's another mummy. But I think she doesn't have mummy dust. So... Now, there's something in here. I'd be careful. Maybe there's still little I ones see around. I see something. Yeah, we've scouted a lot, which is nice. I see something. I see something. Geronimo is, is getting it all. And we're taking it all with concussion powder, stink bomb, heavy heels. There's other things here, as you can see. The desiccated form hanging above the pit appears to be quite dead, yet it still exerts some kind of malevolent hold over the entire graveyard. Cautiously, you reach out a hand and to touch the thing, but your hand passes right through it. Clearly, this evil spirit has no physical form. We have a skull here, though. Skull can be important later on as well. And we have this horn, which will be very interesting for you. Get, get it to know it, I think. Yeah, it's Siren's Whale. As you can see, it can cast insanity on a group of creatures. So that will be extremely useful for uh, offensive bard purposes. So we'll give the Siren's Whale to her. And that's also why it's good to have our bard very strong, because he has to carry around all these instruments to use them regularly. And there's this. Trapped. Trapped. Here. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, you know, get a little bit of divine trap help at least. Here. Looks like poison darts. Inspecting it three times. It seems to be a rather easier trap. And then we can start to uh, try to find the symbols. Because there's strange symbols here. Oh, look at that. Potion of Cure Disease. That's actually really, really good. Studied Holborg. The, re the rest isn't, uh, isn't good, but Potion of Cure Disease can always come in handy if you don't like reload like a madman. And there might always be, there's always a chance that you get you some so kind of affliction. And uh, this will heal it. Otherwise, there's, there are diseases that can permanently damage your attributes, so <laughs> you should really hurry in getting rid of them. So we need to get rid of this evil spirit and to do this, we have to find all the symbols on the graveyard. They are on the stones there. And if you do it really methodically, you really find out what to do. And then you have, after that, to go into one of these corners and do something very, very ominous and crazy. So... Um, this is where you can really zoom in. So, well, uh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, we'll get it in here, and now we can zoom in a bit. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. So we're here. So the thing we should do is to go around here, around here, around here until we have found everything. 
the blue symbols on the gravestones. <clears throat> and there are different methods here. And um, I'm usually going like this around every gravestone, row after row after row, and then you usually find everything. You can also look it up in one of my older videos where I've uh, made a guide for that. So you can see it on the maps. I think I might link that, or I will probably forget to link it in the, in the description below. But it's in my uh, first and I think also second playthrough of the game. There's this. I will, of course, provide you. We'll, we'll mark these spots and at the end of the video, I'll show you all the positions of of the symbols. Now, here's one of them. So, and that's one symbol. You can only activate it once. This, this, this. Yeah, that some of these are really a little bit tricky to, to get, right? As you can see, they have four sides, basically, that you have to look at. So you have to go around and around and around. So it can be a little bit uh, mean. And one is prone to forgetting. And that's the method I usually use, is just going around here. We have been here, but we have not been to the other side, so I just going around we just saw it from the corner of our eye but there could be something else in this row still and we're looking at just every part of it here we go number two so that's the way you find that whoop It's really, some are really, really easy to miss, I'd say. So we're going to the next row. So we're going these rows. Um, on these, on the, on the damaged ones, there's nothing. So that's the really, um, the safe thing to say. But on these, the, you have two sides, so they cannot be on the, on the, on these sides, but on the others. Just have to look, to look, to look, to look. <laughs> and sometimes you forget because it's it's really not. And they they have a little bit of a glow to them. So if you have a really good eye, you can definitely see them from a bit of a distance if you set these graphical settings high. Have to look after that. So. So we'll go back this row. And the cool thing is there can always something can always respawn and screw you up <laughs> while you're doing that. So at least if you're playing that for the first time, make your saves. And I I really like to look for them time and time again because it has something like it's kind of fun just to, <laughs> to figure it out again and again and it also gives you kind of some toughness for the riddles that will also come in the graveyard dungeon that we want to access here now that's the whole reason we do this right accessing the graveyard dungeon is our goal. And there's also some cool ca uh, kinds of riddles there. Especially with teleporting, which can really, really drive you crazy. So we're gonna go around here and then to the second row so we just can, can keep the rhythm, if you get what I mean. 
So I'm going to go here, here, here. <sighs> Gets you dizzy a little bit, all the moving around. So there's nothing here, there's nothing here. Ooh, whoop. I will now take this row and then we'll take the other rows on the other side. There's nothing here, there's nothing here. You can also, from time to time, if it drives you crazy or if you have to save, I would really recommend doing some, some other markers um, to mark where you've been already, right? That is a big help too. And that's also something that you can do later on. Like, um, maybe you know the... There's an old fairy tale called Hänsel and Gretel in Germany. And it's... Uh, the main thing about it is that... Like, they get... They get placed in a forest. Um, but they know that they're going to get placed in a forest uh, by their parents who want to get rid of them because they think they cannot provide food for them, so they bring them to the forest, right? And what Hansel does is he's keeping some uh, breadcrumbs in his pocket. Probably every one of you knows this, of course. And uh, so he uses these bread breadcrumbs to... Um, to form a trail behind them so they can find their way back to the parents. I know that the breadcrumbs get picked up, but we're going to do the same in this game from time to time in the dungeons because it's really important to know... Ah, look! Another one. It's really important to know where you've been and where you've not been. So what do you use for that? You might remember that we have some uh, really, really useful things with us that are called bullet stones. They're the ammunition for like throwing and sling. They're also the ammunition for um, the gadget here. The gadget here can shoot with almost anything. Uh, I'm, I'm just keeping back checking. Didn't really need to do this, right? And basically what you do is you split up one of these things that is worth basically nearly nothing, but that will not go away. And if you're in the dungeon and you should really mark the places where you've been and how do you mark them? You just put a, a bullet stone on the floor and you'll see it there and you'll know, hey, I've been there already, so that's good, that's good. But you have to watch out because sometimes uh, the, the creators uh, want to fuck around with you <laughs> a little bit there. And they've also placed some bullet stones on the ground everywhere. Most of them really big packs of it, though, so it's not that critical. So if you really only place a single one, single bullet stone then you're um, safe to know hey I've been there it's all good we can go to another place now and try out there look that's number four now I think another one is missing so we'll mark that for you number four yeah, the, the dungeons here are really something they're really, really something. So what you get there is um, the dungeons actually, they have a, a given set of mo- Oh, 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 they're weak. That gives us a chance. We should wait here so we don't have to, but we should check, how is it, two, two turns? Oh, oh. We have to rebuff. Enchanted blade, at least. Yeah, that's good. This little dust up will be no problem. Nice. 
so we can wait for them to come to us. Okay. As I was saying... There are really some cool riddles in the dungeons that we'll see later on. It's extremely fun. Ah, we have paralysis effect. Nice. So what can we do here? We'll energy blast them. Okay. Mm. Okay. Lightning rod them. Yeah, we don't have to play this like really accurately. These are just the little little trinnies, so we should be able to do something easy with them. Nice. So that was good. Now let's get that thing. We have a poison dagger. Look at that thing. It's cursed, but it gives you poison damage. Which poison is really good. It um, gives first it gives some damage, and it also debuffs the opponent. The armor class is getting down then. So the poison dagger is really something to give out, but uh, we want to keep him like flexible. Poison dagger is but it's doing really good damage. What you can do is like you can combine it here with with people like Vaso. If you have a, a dedicated rogue or a, a dedicated combat bard, you can really give him the poison dagger or her to uh, be even more dangerous. But we're not going to do that like right here. We want to do is now find the last symbol, and you've noticed monsters can be spawning. That was a lucky spawn because it was a very easy spawn. There can also be something really, really terrible spawning. So what I recommend for you, I'm not doing that because I love the thrill. I'm just addicted to the thrill a bit, um, especially if you're a beginner. Ah, look, another one. You should always save. That's number five. And I'm really not sure if there's a sixth hey, one. Something got loose over here. Oh, oh, something got loose. Oh, there's something out there. So oh, that's a little bit. I don't really feel well with this. See what's coming. Could be something extremely dangerous. A creature approaches. But we have to watch our thing. Ah, the seed shades. <laughs> nice. Not nice. Get away. We don't want you. I really hope they'll keep to themselves. Have we been? We have been in this row, I think. Yes. Now we'll go back to the other rows. Bad news, dead ahead. Wait, wait, where? Where is dead? That's in the other row. Okay, all right. All right, you're right. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> or maybe a lot to worry about. Look at that. Yeah, behind this, behind there, yeah, behind there, death is waiting for us. Death is waiting. The dark doom of death is uh, this wants to destroy us. Hey, something got loose over here. Whoop! There's something else here. Have you seen that? What's that now? Well, you know what? 
We'll see each other in the next episode when we'll open the graveyard dungeon with our dagger. No, not the poison dagger. We just need a dagger. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. And this, these are the locations that you need. And you can see here the little red ones. That's the opponents and the little green ones. That's us. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon. And until next time. So I think I've, I've forgotten one rune. I have forgotten one rune. And the rune, I'm cheating by using my own <laughs> my own video about the retro dungeon from 2016. And the rune must be around here, around here. So let's go back there. And you see, it's it's easy. So we have to go east. We have to go east. And around here, there needs to be the rune. Around here. Oh, God. Around here, there needs to be the rune. Give me the rune. Maybe it's Hugo's rune. Maybe it's. Hmm. I see something moving. Something is coming. They don't want us to open the graveyard. It's somewhere in this area, there must be a rune we haven't yet had. There's still a rune glowing over there. Is that the rune, though? No, we have had that already. They must new uh, yeah, yeah, don't spot, don't spot too much. Come on, go, go away, go away, creepy monsters. Oh, freaky freaks, we need to, ah, uh, there, there's, there's a, oh, I think we've activated that already too. Ah, the, the moon, the moon is taunting us. That wasn't it. Screaming heads. It must be somewhere here. Where we haven't had... We haven't had it. Mark that thing. Maybe it's really hard to see. A little bit into that direction. I'm pretty sure it must be here. One of these freaking stones. Better look this way. Or am I already growing more and more crazy? Is it all too late for me? Has something disappeared? Ah, here we go. Here we go. So, until next time, again. <laughs> And then, of course, we'll open the we'll open the graveyard dungeon and we'll access the graveyard dungeon. See you soon and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. Have a great time until then. Oh, I forgot to mark it. I'll mark it for you. Ha! Ah, it was here, somewhere here, right? Didn't you? Didn't we remember it? Yeah, it was here. Ah, I'm so helpful. Until soon.